beauties live here so as most of you know I've just got back from a trip to London I had two and a bit weeks over there with my fabulous um, Scottish cousins who actually live in London and um, you know along the way I you know I visited Big Ben and um, Buckingham Palace and all the all the top spots in London um, and Topshop the mothership um, <laughs> but I also um, frequented a lot of the uh, different outlets like Boots and even Topshop that um, have a lot of beauty supplies and I was kind of taken away um, by the calibre of beauty products over there, um, a lot we, that we can't get here. So I thought I'll stock up, um, even though I didn't really have the room in my luggage for the way back, but that's okay, different, different story. Um, and I've collected a couple here that I really want to share with you because I think they're kind of reason enough to get yourself over there and try them first hand. So I'll start with um, a couple of Topshop favourites because I know last time I went there I bought a couple of things. I bought a little bit more this time. But by way of cheek products, I love, you know, really um, gleamy, luminous cheeks and I know a lot of you do as well. So I picked up a couple of favourites here. This one, look at these compacts, they're so cute. This is a cheek duo in Desert Sun and this is only like eight or nine pounds or something. But it's really, see how it's got that like half pink, half bronze, so you can kind of build up um, whichever colour you prefer um, or, you know, mix them together and it just gives a brilliant, brilliant sort of silky, luminous finish, which I love. So that's a definite favourite. Um, also only about eight pounds was another um, Topshop compact. I love these like stencil kind of designs on there. They're so cute. Um, and this is a highlighter in Sunrise. Can be used. It's a they tell you to lightly dust it on your face and body. So it's kind of like a really glimmery, pigmented bronzer. So you can see it's just like super super gleamy. I love that kind of on your cheekbones. Um, you know for sculpting even as well and also on your decolletage before you go out, it's lovely. Um, also, what I've got on my lips at the moment, I bought one of these last time, but I liked, it was a bit um, a bit too bright, it was a fuchsia, and I do love it for a night out, but this is great for every day. This is their lipstick crayons that I am in love with, and this is Thrilled, and it's just, it's been well used already. And it's just really creamy and glides on um, really nicely. It has good staying power, surprisingly. So I just kind of, I put a little bit on before this video then. That's just a touch up, so easy. To, um, to use and just sharpen, you know, when it gets a little bit blunt. Um, I also ran out of concealer there, um, and I kind of, I really like a really good concealer. I love MAC normally, but I found these, see again, the stencils. This was really good. This is just uh, Duo Conceal in Light, and here you've got, see like the, the normal kind of concealing colour here, and I use the lighter one just for under my eyes, it's a bit of a brightener. It's got the fabulous little mirror there as well, if you can see me again. It's weird. Um, but yeah, this is really handy, um, you know, for touch-ups on the plane, because we all know how we look when we get off the plane. Not great, I can tell you. <laughs> um, I also came across this um, brand called Barry M, and this is um, in some boot stores as well as the big top shop on Oxford Street. And Barry M, I kind of think of as uh, London's answer to the sports girl range. Kind of lots of colours, lots of products, lots of very, you know, now on trend um, products. And this is just called the Dazzle Dust. And I really liked this like champagne glimmery shade here. See, it's, oh, it's very, very loose. So you have to be very careful using that. But I'll just show you what I can do. See how that will just catch the light brilliantly. It's a really nice um, base eye colour. I really love a nice neutral. So that's definitely one I had to have, had to buy. Um, I also didn't have a really nourishing lip balm, so I picked this up when I was buying some Percy Pigs from Marks and Spencer. These are uh, just your basic kind of lip care range from Marks and Spencer, just like your chapstick or your blistex. And I found this so, so nourishing on the plane home. I love this. This is now my bedside um, essential. I put this on every night before, but I absolutely love it. Now, that's kind of makeup done. I did have a lot with me. Obviously, this gig kind of prepares me for... <laughs> for makeup um, in any situation. But I did find a couple of hair products um, that we don't have over here that I know of, that I love. The first is this brand Aussie. And I see this in all like American Allure and um, UK Glamour. Um, and it seems to be everywhere but Australia, even though it's um, called Aussie and it's got the kangaroo. And I've heard a lot of good things about this. Very nourishing. This is their three minute miracle reconstructed deep conditioner. Now this is kind of of Moroccan old proportions. It just 
shoot some moisture back into your hair. It's just really good for damaged, um, you know, brittle um, strands. It contains Australian balm mint, which makes it smell awesome. And it's just super duper um, quenching for your hair. So I love that. Um, the next one is a product by James Brown London and it's the Photo Fabulous Shimmer Serum and it tames and calms. So you know when you straighten or you blow dry and you've got those flyaways, this will provide epic shine um, whilst, while still controlling those flyaways and making you look all smooth and preened and beautiful. So this is definitely one I'm loving. It's spritz and it's just amazing. So, and these are only, this is probably about four pounds and this is probably about seven. Super duper cheap. Loved it. Loved everything over there. Could have bought a lot more, but if, unfortunately my baggage allowance was uh, pushing it as it was. So <laughs> that's it. Um, maybe you guys can share with me um, in the comments section uh, products that you've bought overseas, whether it be London or any other place you've been to. Tell us why you love them and why it's worth us going over to experience them firsthand. Okay, beauties. Speak to you soon. Bye.